What's up, guys? Paulie Malanagi here for Paulie TV. The Paulie tour of Europe continues, but the Paulie TV videos do not stop. What's going on tonight? We have a actually a, a totally packed night of boxing. We got uh, first off, uh, we're going to be discussing Lomachenko and Jermaine Ortiz. Obviously, Lomachenko has been uh, discussed a lot on my channel as of late, with uh, Devin Haney having won, uh, uh, having defended his uh, undisputed lightweight title. Bob Arum having recently announced that. Lomachenko and Haney would wind up fighting each other if both were victorious in their fights. Haney has kept up his end of the bargain by dominating George Cambosos for the second time in a very, very uh, impressive performance. Uh, Lomachenko up against Jermaine Ortiz. Let's analyze this fight. You know, Ortiz is, uh, has a draw against uh, uh, Joseph Adorno, a kid that I read very high in. He's uh, a very good fighter. Oh, the guy, what I've noticed about Ortiz, he's aggressive and he knows how to use, uh, you know, he knows how to punch in, in, in bursts. Uh, he's naturally bigger. You know, the thing about Lomachenko is he's always going to be the smaller guy, lightweight. You know, in order to, for this guy to be tested, I've noticed that he needs to be out, uh, basically outside of his comfort zone, weight class-wise. And nobody at 126 or 130 was able to even test him in the, in the, in the least. So at 135 pounds, um, you know, he's been dropped by Linares. Um, he's, uh, you know, dealt with some bigger physical foes. Obviously, he lost the Telfimo Lopez fight, but it's probably where he's most entertaining because there's actually a chance for him to lose, and there's also uh, uh, a chance for more competitive fights. At 126 and 130, he was just too dominant. Now, I think at 135 is where he tops out, so if Devin Haney ends up moving up in weight, in weight and, uh, and vacating the lightweight titles, I don't think that fight is going to end up happening. But um, when it comes to Jermaine Ortiz, listen, he's a guy who knows how to use his physicality. He's a pretty big lightweight. Um knows how to you know maneuver you physically and like i said throw those punches and bunches and impress you physically so i think it could be make for some interesting early part of the fight for that because again lomachenko has to make up for that lack of size when he deals with these lightweights so he's got to sort of start to break them down uh i do think he's got more weapons at his disposal i think he's got more weapons than anybody in boxing uh, pretty much i mean this is a guy that fights at, at various angle changes very creative and is always able to fire off those angle changes you know there's a difference with doing uh, angle changes uh, and, and, and being creative, but also uh, understanding how to fire off them each and every time. And that's what he does. You know, Lomachenko, is, is what, what it makes him most effective is the angle changes make him good both defensively and offensively, but also create attacking angles that he knows how to pounce on right away. And it ends up frustrating his opponents, it ends up debilitating his opponents, and, you know, physically and mentally just breaking them down. Um, do I think that's going to happen right off the bat with Ortiz? I do not, because I think Ortiz is also a very intense guy. Uh, not as many angle changes as Lomachenko, but he's always ready to put forth his physical best, uh, push for you, push you, and uh, also throw those punches in, in bunches. And he's got some pretty fast hands when he does that. So I think it's going to take uh, an early part of the fight to, to break down Ortiz before Lomachenko finally starts to slow him down and um, start to look like the Lomachenko that we've seen after his uh, shoulder surgery, which is a very dominant Lomachenko against guys who have you know, for some big, bigger guys to struggle. Guys like Nakatani, who was not an easy guy to deal with. Lomachenko absolutely obliterated him. Guys like uh, Richard Comey, who, you know, was an ex-IBF lightweight champion. And, um, you know, aside from the Telfimo Lopez fight, was always a tough fight, a tough out for everyone. Um, and, 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 and Lomachenko absolutely uh, dominated him as well. So um, I think the post-shoulder surgery, Lomachenko is a, a two-fisted fighter uh, who is uh, less apt to really... Uh, really have any doubts about the way he's going to attack you and the way he's going to shoot his combinations and shoot his shots. And obviously, those angle changes always make for some interesting uh, attacking measures. Uh, I think Lomachenko probably gets a stoppage in the last quarter of the fight. Um, maybe it goes to a decision. I, I haven't seen Ortiz's ability to take punishment yet because, again, uh, with the Adorno fight, it was a good fight. They went back and forth. He was having his own measure of success. I think with Lomachenko, at a certain point, he, he, in an early part, he's going to have his own measure of success. But it, at a certain point, he is going to wind up, um, you know, started, starting to guess out and not be able to keep up with those angle changes. Because they stress you. Those angle changes stress you. Because, again, it's not just the angle changes. It's also the, 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 the fact that he attacks a lot off of those angle changes. So, and he knows how to fire off of them right away and put you in more difficult positions ensuing on the ensuing portion of those. So, um, you know, that's my breakdown. We'll see how it goes tonight. And then I'll obviously uh, I'll be discussing the uh, the, uh, the post fight stuff. I'll be discussing the possibilities of Lomachenko and Haney um, fighting. I had a conversation with Bill Haney earlier this week on the Boxing Voice. Shout out to Ness and Danny out there. And um, you know we'll uh, I'll, I'll get more into that discussion as well as well as 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 also what I think the uh, the chances are of Lomachenko Haney happening and what I think about that fight. Uh, obviously I've given some of my 
thoughts in the past. Uh, I've spoken to Bill uh, since, and we had a we had a good conversation. We didn't agree on everything. Listen, you're not gonna you're not gonna agree on everything, but to quote Bill, we agreed on the meat and potato meat and potatoes part of it, and uh, I look forward to uh, discussing that as well. But let me let's get through Lomachenko, Jermaine Ortiz first. Let's see how uh, Lomachenko comes out of this fight. Let's see how well Jermaine Ortiz performs as well, and uh, we'll uh, we'll go from there. I'm Paulie Malinaji. This is Paulie TV, the European version.